guys, what's up guys? I got a new hairstyle and right now as you can see it's so messy and I'm going to show you what, how to get rid of these rat nests in your hair. I actually have a super easy hack for this. Um, so let's get right into the video. I'm super excited for this video. all the materials you need so I'm going to go through them with you okay first one you need a blow dryer and yes you do need a blow dryer and you also need detangling spray um I personally like to use this kind um yeah and we also need a brush and a ponytail. So first thing is okay. So you're going to get your hair wet. Like the parts you want brushed. Just like wet in it with your hand. Make it flattened out and like that. So yeah. So for me, I'm going to do all my hair. It is up to you on where you want to do it. So yeah. So once you have it damped, as you can see, it looks much different when it's damped. You're going to take your detangling spray and we're going to just try to spray it top to inch bottom. Cause you need a lot of this for it to work. So, I'm going to be right back. Keep in mind, you also do have to, um, uh, you also do have to, um, like, you I'll see, I'll show you in the, the next part of the video, but it's something really important, so paint. Okay, so the next part is, you have to spray under your hair too, where it's really not easy. So, yeah easier for me you can take the lid off and pour some in your hand and like rub it and then just let it rub it all into your hair and that's what gets the back too gotta make sure to get the back and let's move on to this this we are going to put that back in and we're going to get the blow dryer started so um if you didn't know my sister didn't know this um when you plug it in you have to press the red or the yellow button press both and see what happens so i'm plugging it in i have to take this off though, the cap for these things, put it, plug it in, and yeah, and okay, so we want to put it on low, and we want it on, but when you put it on, it doesn't go on, so I, you have to press the red button. So I'm putting it on medium and you're just gonna dry your hair. Stampin it. Kind of just let the air go through it. Ok, 
Okay, after you um, dampen your hair, we have to brush it. The most exciting part of the dreadlocks. And when you have flipped hair like me, it kind of looks silly, but don't worry. I'll show you how to get it back. So, we get all the way through and make sure to brush behind the hair too. So I like to do it section by section at a time and like brush it sideways so I see what's going on and I also brush it underwards like that and you have a good part of smooth hair so here is where the ponytail comes in so you're wanting to separate your good hair from the bad hair or else it could possibly get all tangled again and you don't want that, do you? Um, so what you're going to do is you're just going to put it in a slight little, like not too tight too, like this. And we're going to move on to a different section. For this part, I'm just going to do the whole thing. So let's get on and I'll be back with you when I'm done. Okay, so I got this whole side done. And personally, it looks pretty good to me. Um, I still have a couple knots in there. Yeah, that's how bad my hair was. So, um, it looks pretty good. Um, see if, if you can see that. Um, I'm going to go through it a couple more times so there's no knots. There can't be any knots. And so the leftover hair I have right here is the bad hair. So I'm just going to go through that. I'm going to go from the top all the way to the bottom because that moves the rat's nest all the way to the bottom. And if the tear will be bad, you can cut it off and it won't be a big deal. And But for me, they weren't that bad where I have to cut off my hair. So, um, yeah. So I'm just brushing it. And what the blow drying does, it helps it dry faster. And it makes the stuff, the detangling spray, um, blend in with your hair. And it gives you that nice texture and and stuff. It's it's good. Um, so I want to show you what it looks like. So, so I do look like this. Um, I think it looks pretty good. Um, I don't see any knots at all, and it looks pretty good to me. Um, so um. And yes, I do record on the iPad. I will get um, a div. I'm going to get a GoPro so I can have a better quality camera. And also make sure to hit the subscribe button and push the thumbs up and also hit the bell for notifications. Make sure to do that. that. So yeah. Keep in mind, this is for people who want flat fur hair that they had before. As you can see how I looked earlier. Um, yeah, so um, now what you're going to do with these ends, see look at all my ends, those are pretty bad, um, so I'm going to brush it out one more time, yep, and there's no more knots, um, there can't be like a single knot, so should look like this and you should have all your hair like in one section and you're also just gonna take it and like dip it in water okay so I dipped it in water as you can see and now we're just gonna brush it off and that should make it straight at the bottom. So, 
straight and now that is where we're going to use our blow dryer again um so and at the end there'll be some curls so yeah i'm gonna get and blow drying my hair so i don't want to record that so okay, i'm done blow drying my hair as you can see it's all dry now and um it should look like that it shouldn't look as wavy as it, what it was and when it is dry and all you have to do is just brush it and you'll see if it's uneven or not. I need to get a haircut soon. I will do that. Just a trim because I'm still trying to grow my hair out um, pretty long so I could look pretty pretty. I know that's not a word, but yeah, I want it to look pretty so I'm growing it out. So, yeah. So, this was pretty dope because my hair looks a lot better, as you can see. Um, I think it looks pretty good. And, yeah, I'll show you the back. enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you some. Um, 